So I picked an episode already. We're going to be reviewing C15 in the N++ tab. C15. Right, I got it. Okay. Let me see the levels. Oh, the first one. Protuberances, whatever that's called. Well, it looks like a kind of standard short level, which is which has a pretty good flow in terms of high scoring, and uh, kind of like it to be honest, because it's straightforward. It's like it seems like a, like a filler for for like the tap when you do them and. Uh, you get stuck on some hard levels, then you get this one. Because just in terms of completion, it's really easy. But uh, it can get tricky in terms of high scoring. Yeah. And if we talk about the uh, the challenge, it's pretty cool as well. It doesn't require much. You, you just need to get these two low jumps right, then miss the exit. To, to get these mines behind the door, and then you're fine. Yeah, I like this level a lot. It's it's pretty good. I don't know what you think. Yeah, I think I agree with basically everything you just said. Just it's a nice standard level, but it's got a few interesting things about it that stop it from just being complete filler. I mean, I don't really mind having some fillers in the tab because when I'm doing uh, the ultimate secrets now, yeah, they're going really slow, and I'm re and I'm like really really slow. It's, yeah. There's like a lot of hard levels, and ultimate tab in general has less easy challenges and more like medium. To a bit harder challenges. For sure. So, like, it doesn't go as fast. When I was doing N plus plus set, I could do easily like five, six episodes without really stopping on anything. But here, yeah, it's a bit harder. Yeah. But anyways, it's a pretty good level. Yeah, I Let's like go it. Let's go to the next one and uh, see what it has. Yeah. So the next level uh, is Float, float Max. max. Yeah, let me see. It's kind of open space level. I don't mind these. Yeah. Uh, MetaNet doesn't th do a lot of these kinds of levels in the game, I feel like. These more open ones. I mean, th they are, for sure they do more open levels than uh, the user levels. Because when people do user levels, they try to do like some unique stuff. Oh yeah. And it rarely goes with uh, with a lot of open space. But yeah, I don't really like super tight levels with tight movement. So this is uh, like a pretty good kind of standard level. The rocket doesn't really hurt too much unless you're going for the top right gold. Because that's the I don't know, the only moment when you can get screwed. Yeah. And the challenge... Uh, the challenge is actually pretty easy. It's just G minus minus. Yeah, so it looks like it just requires you, one tricky jump. Get the, really? Yeah, it, it's either like a corner, or you can jump from the first block right to the third one. And get up the wall, yeah. Somehow avoid the rocket, and you're fine, pretty much. Because if you kill off the rocket here, you can just go up and straight to the exit, and that's about it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool level. I like the first one more, I think, because of the flow and the challenge. Yeah, I can see that. I think I agree sometimes, with you. Sometimes, sometimes uh, the challenges are easier than the old golds. It's rarely the case, but sometimes happens. Yeah. I think this could be the case here. I don't know. 
if the first jump is harder than getting the top right goal, but I think I've played this game too much to determine that. <laughs> yeah. Like... Honestly, that's why I like watching random new people streaming N++ to remember what hard things are like when yeah, you're I new. Yeah, like seeing new people come up. And there are, there's been a few in the last couple of weeks, let's say. Yeah. Like the Super something bros, I can't remember the name, so The Super Amato bros, I think the yeah, name Amato is. Bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like doing, uh, he was trying to all gold stuff, but uh, when he went by columns, he, he like started a row, then decided to go by columns. And uh, stumbled upon Go Fish, and there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna move to the next one. It's, uh. Holy shit, that's a long name. Ring around the Rosenthal Zero Point Energy Device. Oh, this is one of the first oh, yeah, levels that's... I ever tried to high score in this game. Yeah, it's, it, it has a really good flow in terms of high scoring as well, just yeah. like the first one. If you look at the, uh, oh wow, my score isn't very good. Uh, if you look at the leaderboard, you'll see Shaman and Sorglos are both fairly high on it. I think it was like yeah. the first week that N++ launched. Uh, I was chatting with them and we all started trying to high score this level. Yeah, I can see that the score was pretty tight as well. At least the first... Four scores are pretty close to each other. Oh, even goal. Yeah. And the... The Eki and Stone Eagle. Just catch up. I'm just gonna watch the high score. Have a look. Yeah, the start in high scoring is pretty tight to get before that run cycle. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you're watching it right now, but... Yeah, I am. Ooh, and yeah, that's passing a, the door in that like, little gap there. One of the levels when it has a good uh, high scoring vibe, a good challenge as well, and uh, like a good looks. To be honest, it looks like some kind of octopus or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard to combine these three. Because the, the main challenge is like G++, T++, O++. There's also G++ challenge, but... Uh, well, I wouldn't need, I wouldn't call it too hard. Just the middle part would be... Yeah, just so like... Difficult. Because jumping around you those golds. Part, yeah, you just have to avoid the gold. But the good thing is, the rocket won't hit you there. Right. Because it's uh, closed from that side, so... If you get the exit, you just go straight to it, and it's pretty easy. But the other challenge is really cool, because uh, you kind of have to get the switches and then get back. Oh, you don't actually have to get back here, I think. It was the secret uh, version of this, when you had to get back. Yeah. I think the challenge for this is just G++, yeah. but also you get those two mines at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of is. Yeah. Because I uh, kind of thought this was, was the secret level, because this uh, level in secret tab, uh, it's called All Numbers Are Imaginary, and it uh, looks just like this one, well, but you actually have to go forward, grab some switches, get back, grab another switch and go and go to the exit. Right, right. But this challenge is pretty cool as well. Yeah, this is um, a this is a really fun level. I mean, the episode looks pretty decent so far. Let me see. What's next? Um, machine precision. This one. Oh, it's kind of an okay level. Yeah, it's not that interesting, I think, for 
most aspects. Well, I mean, it's yeah, just the completion and all gold isn't that uh, interesting. Yeah, the high score route is basically what you'd expect it to be, but the challenge here, I think, is a good one. Yeah, the challenge is pretty cool. Because, like, the normal route, uh, you don't really have to do much. Because once you get to the exit, you don't even have to jump, just hold left and uh, you'll land just right. Uh, but in terms of challenges, what is it? G minus minus? Yeah. Yeah, I well, think. I don't, re I the... don't remember the route. For... Oh, no. You just have to go jump right and then uh, jump over that gold piece, I think. Like a little corner jump or something, or just have enough momentum to to jump over that gold piece. Yeah, but then getting back down is the hard part. I think you have to jump between the uh, gold and the mines and land on the uh, yeah. I'm just either doing a slope right on a platform or yeah. Yeah, I could get down by uh, jumping back to a point where I came from, pretty much. Right. But yeah, you gotta do that little tricky low jump to not hit any mine above you. Yeah. But yeah, this, this level is it's kinda meh, but the challenge is pretty cool, let's say. Yeah, I, 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 I agree completely. It, uh, I would give it like three FNIT points out of five, let's say. <laughs> Uh, when I said that, I should probably rate the, the levels before, but we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, this level. Yeah. Shafts. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, shaft thumps are really rare in the whole game, to be honest. They're right. really underused. Not as much as chain guns and, uh, and curved tiles. Forms, but... Yeah. But, but still, there's not many levels in the... What is it? it like, the, oh, just the G++ isn't that easy. Because if you're not really good with the rocket management, you can get uh, killed pretty easily, to be honest. Because you gotta do like a few wall jumps and uh, gonna learn how to manage the the rocket when standing on the single shot thwomp. Right. But just gotta like move left and right to avoid it. I think but, this uh, is I think, I think this it's, is it's best to be done fast to be honest. Yeah. At least in terms of all gold. This seems like one of those levels that is mildly difficult when you're first going through the game. But once you finish it, you're probably going to forget about it. And then once you start doing challenges, it's burned into your mind forever. Yeah. I remember the challenge was uh, difficult. Because there's two challenges. G minus minus, T minus minus. That's the first one. Yeah. And, uh... And T plus, I, don't, I seem to remember easiest, as being hard. That's the easier one, I think. Or, I don't know. I think the T plus plus was the harder one. Yeah. Is of these like uh, the bottom left mine between the first and third shaft one, uh, counting from the left side. It, it was kind of hard to get from what I remember. Yeah. I'm yeah, not that sure one if it's is. This one or the the next one to the right, but one of them I had some trouble with when I was doing the challenges for the first time. Yeah, I think those are the two hardest ones in the level, at least. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's probably the hardest challenge from these, this episode as well. Like, when I looked at the level, I remember it. Right? So, that means I had at least some trouble doing it. Right. I don't, don't really remember the, the other ones too much. I remember machine precision as well, but I don't know. I was probably 
to a bad, the game back then or something. <laughs> but uh, it's still a pretty good challenge. I'm just gonna go through all of them and uh, I'm gonna give them some net points. Let me let me see. Okay. Let me see. What did I give the machine precision? Like three out of five or something? Yeah, you said three for net points out, out of five. Of five. Sure, that's a pretty low scale. Just five points. <laughs> uh, should have said like six out of ten or something. <laughs> yeah, but it was, let's stay with the five point scale. Okay. I really like the first level. So I'm going to give it like. In terms of filler levels, I would give it a 5 out of 5. But in terms of a normal level and overall, I would give it like 4 and a half maybe. Because I really like it. I like the flow, I like this high scoring uh, thing. And if you if you see the, uh, the high score board, there's pretty much a pray more on it because like first uh first what 13 places are 102 and above oh yeah and there's like one and maybe two frames difference between each of them but yeah let's say four out of uh, four and a half out of five. And this one, float max. Uh, I like that it's an open level, but uh, it's like it's like okay. It's not bad. It's nothing that would uh, make my life miserable, but nothing too good. So I'm gonna say like three and a half. Three and a half net points, dude. Okay. And then the next one, I like the looks and I like the challenges. And it's a pretty good level. And the secret version is really cool as well. Uh, the secret version basically has toggles instead of mines in the middle. And you have to get like G+, T+, O+, and C+, I think. Thank god there's no evil ninjas here. Because that would automatically make the challenge bad. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that that would be like four and a half as well. That's a pretty cool level. And uh, I've rated machine precision already. And uh, the devious shafts. I like the use of shaft bombs because it's a rare thing, and it's a rare thing that I actually like. Uh, it's. Pretty good level, I would give it like let's say four points. I don't like it as much as the first one or the octopus thingy, but it's a pretty cool level. Yeah, let's give it four points. So I don't know what's the average of this episode. I can't count that fast. <laughs> Even though I've studied a lot. I should probably do it within like three seconds <laughs> but it's too hard for me holy shit i would grab a pen but nah i think that's what it was four and a half um four and a half three and a half that's nine that's another four and a half that's 13 and a half uh 17 21 yeah that's a bit above four points out of five for an episode that's pretty good that's yeah that's a good episode which i think yeah. that's that's fair this is a good episode i don't know what's your rating dude um you, you have a like your toaster rating five toasts out of ten or something no i think you're the first person to actually put numbers to the levels well i wouldn't Aren't we all like, not all, but let's say, uh, majority is like IT math people here. Yeah, honestly, I, I'm kind of surprised no one else has tried to do that yet. 
I mentioned it on the first episode with Golf Kid, like, hey, should we try raiding these? And he was like, no. So... Is golf like IT connected or something? No, he's not. Maybe. That's, yeah, that's why that's he it. didn't. He just rate said it. he set a bad precedent for the rest of the series. <laughs> I'll just be sure to blame him. Um, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, after watching this, people will start raiding, like I don't know, sell up points or something. Right. I'll um, I'll rate it with happy toasts. Uh, I'll say. I'll just say how many happy toasts it gives me. Uh, so protuberances? Protuberances? I guess... Yeah, I like the flow of it. I'd say... I'd say about three happy toasts out of five. I like how you can get all the toggles with one jump. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. these ones on the top feels really good to do so. Three happy toasts. Yeah, three happy toasts. It's it's good. It's not my favorite. Um Float Max. I don't know, when I'm looking at Float Max, it, it looks like a level that I would like, but it's just not memorable at all for me. Like, within minutes yeah, of finishing true. this this recording, I'm sure I'm just going to forget about this level again. Uh, I'm probably going to remember it for, like, another two days, but <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> no hot feelings meet net. But when I'm playing it, it's it's pretty fun. I'd probably give it about three and a half happy toasts. Bring around the Rosenthal Zero Point Energy Device. I really enjoy this level. I think I'm going to give this a full 5 out of 5 Happy Toasts. This is one oh, of my favorite in the row. Good. Yeah. Favorite in the row? Oh, that's, that's pretty high rating. Yeah. Um, machine Precision. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I would give any MetaNet any level points? less than a 3. Well, maybe there are a couple of MetaNet levels I'd give less than a 3, but for the most part, they're, they're capable of making decent levels every time. Um, Can you name a level that would you would rate, like, uh, I don't know, one Happy Toast? Probably something or in like Ultimate, toast, or the even. exclamation tab. <laughs> Maybe, um... I'm trying to remember the name of it, the... Oh, A Path With No Obstacles. The one level in this game that I just don't enjoy. Oh, I don't remember that one. I don't, I don't think I've seen it. Ah. I didn't see many, uh... Levels from this tab at all. I just seen like uh, CFL, which is too popular not to be seen. Yeah. I've seen Eeny Meeny, I've seen uh, Pack Monster, and a few other. Because yep. I haven't really tried there any are of a, these. There are a lot of levels in that tab that are hard at first, but once you have a root, it gets a lot easier. But a path with no obstacles, I think, is the hardest level in the game in terms of the precision you need to have. Let's see. Ah, this one. Oh, I have it unlocked. Holy trap. Yeah, getting up the slope at the start isn't that hard, but coming back down it for the switch is very hard. Especially if there's the rocket coming after you. Ah, oh, there's a rocket on top left, right? Yeah. Yeah. It can get tricky. You probably have to time the jumps really good to avoid the rocket in the air. Or something. So what would you like rate it one sad toast? Yeah, this one is happy toast out of this five? is uh <laughs> 
Actually, yeah, that's how I should say it. This is five out of five sad toasts. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm really happy I did all the the all gold on challenges here so I never have to play it again. At least until I do uh, an ultimate secret tab speed run. I think I have a few levels I would I would rate zero of nit points out of five, but I'm not gonna name them. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel safe. <laughs> Back to mis machine precision. I think I'd give it three three happy toasts out of five. It's mostly an uninteresting level, but that challenge brings it up a bit. Eh, that challenge is pretty good. Yeah. The levels kind of the look isn't bad, but the gameplay is kind of uh, uninteresting for me. Yeah. And what about the last one? Devious shoves. Um I've been trying to do the challenge, the T plus plus again while we were talking about it. And I haven't come close. I don't remember how to get those two mines that are difficult. Uh, and I think that's awesome, because I know I've done this one before. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it... 4.5 Happy Toasts out of 5. Uh, that's pretty good. I, I like this one a lot. So let's see, that's 3, 6, uh, 11, 12, I and think, 7 uh... is... Uh, 19... 19 over 5, so this is almost 4 out of 5 for me on the episode. Really? That's less than me, I think. Yeah, yeah I didn't like I a bit the four. first one as much as you did. Like, people are gonna laugh because I probably did the math wrong, but <laughs> who cares? I mean, rating doesn't really matter when you enjoy the game. Right. There's too many good levels to uh, to like feel bad about these shitty levels. <laughs> I think the I'm just trying to do the T plus plus now as well. Yeah. While we're talking and uh, I think that uh, that left bottom left mine requires the leftmost shaft one to be launched and then you kind of have to wall jump from the other shaft one to oh to the wall to the wall i think that's what i did at that least. makes some sense but uh the rocket is probably gonna get close to you by then and yeah i couldn't really make it in like five tries so that just proves it was kind of hard back then as well yeah but if I would look at the route I did, or someone else did, I could probably uh, do there it. There we go, I just did it again. Five tries. Oh, nice. You're, the be you're better than me then, because I couldn't do it with five tries. Well, I think it took me like 30, but uh, <laughs> I was doing it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doesn't mean we're equal if you couldn't do it in five tries as well. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's that's how it is. Every N++ player is equal. And it doesn't matter uh, that Xella was uh, Grandmaster. <laughs> <laughs> because even if even when he was one, it was still equal to all of us. Exactly. But someone has to carry the title, right? Somebody has to. So, like... He was the one. I'm sorry, Silla. <laughs> I'm shitting on you, but... <laughs> oh. Alright. Yeah, yeah, that was a pretty good review. I liked this episode. I was, like, thinking, which one are you gonna pick? And I hoped for a good one, because when you choose something like... Uh, I'm not gonna name anything, but <laughs> with with levels I hate, uh, I, I could get a pretty salty when reviewing these. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully we we avoided that. 
So, uh, I don't know if you have anything to add or something. If not, I guess we're done reviewing. Yeah, I I think that's about it. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Fnit, for coming on the N++ Community Podcast. Thanks, dude. Thanks for being a part of this super happy toast podcast. <laughs> And I hope when you get more people to this, they're going to rate with uh, individual points <laughs> and individual scale. Yeah. Because right. people like ratings and people like numbers, even if they mean nothing. I suspect just... that now that it's happened once, more people are going to do it. Yeah, I think everyone is going to do it, unless they forget. Unless but, it's uh, Golf Kid again. Ha, 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 ha.